Hello, core community, a warm welcome from my side. I'm sorry, I'm just uh, was preparing some telemetry stuff uh, that we developed uh, into one of our uh, test jets. Um, yes, I like to come back to you because I received a couple of requests regarding a video we posted in the uh, core forum. Um, unfortunately, a German language video um, describing and uh, giving you a tutorial uh, for flight mode, flight phases. And that was a bit special because um, uh, this idea was in that way that the um, throttle stick can change uh, its operation mode. Its operation mode from classic throttle to spoiler mode having brakes. Uh, in a practical example, that is my rocket hotliner from Simprop, um, a very fast uh, brushless driven uh, uh, glider, electric glider. And I personally prefer a uh, um, flying style with three, um, with three flight phases. Uh, with the core, I have programmed three flight phases on my stick switch in three position. It's the phase start, it's normal flight, and it's landing, nothing more. That's fine for me. Maybe you have a different mind on that. Everything is okay. And um, in these three phases, uh, phase one, start phase, and phase normal flight, the throttle stick is always throttle. But if I do my last climb um, up in the air, typically uh, I give full thrust and I reach 100, 150 meters, whatever, then, I leave the throttle stick in the front position and I just flick the flight phase switch to landing. In this idea, later you will see that in the programming, what's going on there, this will cut off the brushless motor and this stick is no longer the throttle stick, it is the spoiler stick applying uh, up a Lirion uh, throw uh, so both Illyrian servos going up and can have then, as you can have then, uh, a braking function. If I pull this stick then down, both Illyrians will come up and uh, I have a nice braking function, very proportional and I always can uh, bring the glider to a perfect uh, touchdown point. So that's the idea in general and uh, give me a short moment, I will uh, explain you the programming and the situation in detail. Okay, before we uh, deep dive into the uh, menu programming, I just like to show you the idea of uh, having a different uh, operation for the classic throttle stick. So the idea is that this stick um, changes its operation, its mode from classic uh, brushless motor control, ESC control to uh, spoiler control applying the brakes uh, for a hotliner like my uh, rocket model. Okay, um, here's the situation. We are in position start, fluke flight phase start. We have three flight phases here, start, normal and landing, nothing more. All these three flight phases are controlled via these three position stick. Okay, here we go through them. That's it. And, um, we go a little bit further. I just show you here is the Illyrian function. We see um, so left, right. Here we have the throttle on channel one. Illyrian was on two and six. Don't be confused uh, with the percentage here. We have applied some differential amount to the uh, uh, Illyrian servos. You will see later in the programming. And uh, we have the elevator on servo number three. Okay, rudder we don't have at this glider. Okay, um, as we normally start and fly, we give full power, we fly our plane, everything is fine. We can uh, go to a different uh, flight phase if we like the, to uh, uh, fly some, some thermal things or some speed things. So your choice could be different for some expo values, the normal flight uh, in relation to the normal start situation. So. That's it. If we come to uh, that the battery is going to uh, empty, 
I usually uh, do a last climb with my hotline glider and leave the stick in the full position and just flick the switch to landing position and keep an eye on the servo number one position it will go from 100% to zero, minus zero uh, minus 100% sorry and now the motor will be switched off but my stick is still in full position and now already this stick has changed his mode this stick is now not longer controlling the servo number one, the ESC brushless motor. It's now applied to the Illyrion servo here, you see. And these servos are pushing the Illyrions now in an up position so that I have a play applied some air brake function to it in real flight situation. So you see that, that this guy is now only controlling the up position and of course we have full Illyrian control still. So if I put the st stick in top position no brake is applied we are just clean with the aircraft if I put it down to the lower position we have full brakes applied full landing braking uh, is now um, activated. So that's the situation and give me a short pause and I'll be back in a couple of seconds to you, okay? Palim palam, here I'm back again as I promised you. Now we like to uh, take a look at the uh, setup for the flight phases and uh, at the beginning we just do uh, see uh, the important menus uh, we will edit today um, it's a flight mode menu and it is the uh, function menu mainly and it's also important to have from time to time uh, look to the servo monitor okay what's behind this flight mode situation that the uh, throttle stick uh, has a prior priority on uh, throttle or it can change its function to uh, to uh, support the spoiler the brakes uh, so we have a dual use of the uh, uh, of the stick okay let's have a look at the flight modes how we have programmed that very easy very straightforward i'm using three flight modes that is um, start that is normal flight and that is landing as you can see clearly here from left to right and remember start from the left has the highest priority and as you go to the right side at the core you will have lower priority uh, in our situation with only a three step switch which i'm using here i can show you we are toggling between the three phases every phase has the same priority okay so far good what did we do um we just made a flight phase i call that start it's your decision your name you can put in here and i have a fade in time of one seconds this is later very nice and important uh, if we switch back uh, from uh, spoiler from the spoiler function to the throttle esc function you will um, have um, uh, yeah, a delay that the uh, uh, brushless motor goes up to speed again it will not immediately get 100 percent if you just flick the switch so there is one seconds from uh, from zero rpm of the motor to 100 percent uh, full power so that's the reason behind the fade in of one seconds. Uh, no fade in function, there's nothing uh, at the moment, so, so nothing defined in this column. Okay, let's go back. Let's see, normal flight, same situation here, just the name, just the fade in time, and we will use this flight mode, this flight face. And as you will see, and think already uh, the third phase uh, is landing so that is our landing phase uh, this is a phase where we not control the motor via the throttle stick we control the air brakes the spoilers 
uh, with the stick. So uh, very straightforward, three phases just uh, created in that way. Okay, each flight phase has a switch attached in our case or in my case it is the switch with the uh, letter F. Uh, it is a stick switch but it could be every three step switch you will find in your transmitter. Your own preference is that here. So uh, feel comfortable to use a switch which is uh, the most best uh, for your operation. Okay, and we see we can step through the phases. I mean assigning a switch is very easy in core. It's beautiful designed. Uh, we just have it the start phase you see on the top and uh, it's active with on. Uh, so you see already the situation. Uh, nevertheless I show you the other phases here middle switch position uh, of switch Foxtrot. It's normal flight and uh, switch Foxtrot has uh, its active uh, in the third position on in the landing phase. So very easy, very straightforward. Okay, that's all in, um, in the menu for, um, for the flight phases. We can leave the menu now and uh, go back to our main screen. And um, yeah, let's, let's have a look at the functions. And um, with functions, um, it's very easy. The hotliner, the rocket has uh, two Illyrian servos, uh, one throttle, a brushless motor, a powerful, and we have an elevator. That's all. At the end, no rudder function because there is no rudder at this uh, hotliner. And um, we added the following uh, functions, Illyrian left, Illyrian right, throttle ESC, spoiler, which is our actually our braking system, and the elevator. So, um, Illyrian left and right, I always uh, do this uh, with two separate functions, because as you will later see, there's a good possibility or good uh, use of it to have two of them, uh, because you can uh, assign a differential uh, differential uh, function to the Illyrian servo that, uh, for example, your uh, throw to the upper side is bigger than to the lower side, uh, just to have a Illyrian differential function. It's very common with a lot of uh, gliders and uh, hotliners with um, in this category. So yeah, let's let's see. I mean the naming. You should know that that's not new. You can give it any name you like. Here we do it Illyrian left. Okay. And uh, the control stick is my stick on the on the right side. I'm using I'm a, a mode one user. So wherever your Illyrian is on the left or right side, uh, assign it to the appropriate stick. Okay. Logically trim is also the function D. No big thing here. Um, there's a chance maybe you can also uh, set these uh, uh, flight mode from global to, to single. Then you would have in each um, flight phase uh, you could uh, have a different trim. I left that at global. I'm, my my uh, rocket is fine with that. that. But that would be also if you fly in your model maybe a point to change. Okay. Um, yeah, let's have a look before we go to the setup column. Let's have a look at the servo. Uh, we assigned servo 2 and 6 at the receiver side to it. And you see also 2 and 6 later on on the spoiler. So you can remember that picture. Um, that is uh, because the spoiler is also playing with the uh, Illyrian servos. Of course, that is what we have uh, had planned. Okay. Um, yeah, just a quick step into the curve functions. Here you can see a, a nice thing and that came also from the core forum back to me. Uh, some people like to have a, a differential setup for, for the Illyrian servos and uh, of course with core you can have that also uh, coupled uh, with the flight modes that you have different uh, differential phases in different flight mode phases. Uh, sounds a bit complicated at the moment. Don't be confused. It's very easy. Here you see our start phase on the top. I go to normal flight and you see the differential is already lowered 
or if I go to landing, it's just an example, or uh, it is completely off so that we don't have any differential. Uh, this is just an example. Um, I would always suggest put the differential function to your personal preferences and the preferences of your mod model, which you are programming. So, but here you see how it works in general. You can have different differential functions in relation to the flight phases. Okay, so far? Good. With the other earlier on, it's just uh, mirrored, but it's the same idea, same differential phase in different flight phases. Okay? Good. No big deal here. That's straightforward. Um, just a quick look at the servo functions. Here's everything normal. Um, we have uh, plus minus 100% throw of the Illyrian servos. So that is what you see here. And you see already uh, it's minus 50 here on the left side. The differential function is working in this flight force phase. If I would go that to the other side, oops, that's a braking function, you get also minus and plus 100% here. So no big deal. Don't be confused. The braking function comes later. Um, I will explain that shortly. Okay, good. Yeah, um, let's have a look how we assign the throttle because remember we want to change the stick operation from throttle to spoiler or from spoiler to stick. And um, here we made a MAME, we defined the stick, of course it's on the right side because mode 1 and it's a trim, it's trim C. Um, in normal operation uh, the stick is uh, um, uh, working on uh, in the direction of servo number one at your receiver side or at my receiver side. Could be any other servos you define your choice. Um, okay, let's have a look at the at this function. Okay, let's first go to start. That's the first phase we have here. Now I can pull the stick and you clearly see I can go from minus 100% to plus 100%. I have full control of my brushless motor, okay? This is a start phase. I want to start, I give full power and start my rocket hotline glider. Okay, same for normal flies, flight, no difference. The minus 100% to plus 100%, very straightforward, okay? And now there comes the change. I switch to landing phase and immediately the curve dropped down. The motor would stop because I have my stick at full position now, at full top position. This is, um, I fly in the following way. I think, okay, if, if the uh, battery uh, comes to the lower side, uh, I make a last uh, 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 high climb of the glider and have full power and then I don't pull back the classic um, throttle stick, I just switch to uh, the landing phase. And then nothing makes difference except the motor is going to stop. And this is what you see here. We are going from 100% to stop and that's all. I just flick the switch to the landing phase, okay? So no big deal here. And um, if I move the stick, nothing will happen again to the motor. So the motor, the engine, the brushless motor is switched off in this phase. Okay, now here comes the rest of the gang, the spoiler, we name it spoiler, your choice again. Oops, that was one touch too much. Go back to functions and we go to uh, the setup column. But first remember, also, the spoiler has a control of stick C, which is the same stick like we have on throttle, okay? Uh, let's have a look at the situation at the spoiler. And the spoiler is um, a bit unique. Uh, we just working in the lower two quadrants here. So, and we are just adding these curve with the curve editor, okay? Here you see the situation that um, this curve is active in the landing phase we have here, okay? Landing phase. And you see, if I move the stick, it goes from 
right to left or from left to right in the in the lower quadrant sector. Okay, if I go back to normal and normal flight, this curve has no function. We are just have a zero parallel line. Also in start, we have a zero. So this means in start and normal, we are not applying any spoilers or any brakes uh, because we want to fly and we don't want to land. Okay. So once again, landing phase, then the situation is applied. We have full flaps or we have the brakes in. So no difference. And let me see and show you the, um, the spoiler servos. There is one thing you must put in minus 150% here at this situation because we need a little bit more slow, more way on the uh, um, on the uh, Illyrian servos to come up to go high. And you see that they move in parallel here to minus 100%. And you have still your Illyrian function for left and right and control. Uh, the direction of the uh, of the glider, okay, of the rocket hotline glider. Good. So same situation here. Very clear. I think just more way for the servos to have more uh, um, more way to the to the Illyrian's rudder coming up. Okay, that's in general the situation. Um, one thing, elevator is no big deal. It's just the elevator. It's just a linear function and um, flight mode is global. Um, it's just um, to your preferences. Maybe you can uh, apply a different expo to different flight phases. Um, that's an individual choice. Good. Um, one thing came up and some guys told me yes it's very nice what you did but i'm using a timer a clock uh, to control my motor run time and um, how can i achieve this if the stick uh, changes its uh, function yes that's a that's a true argument and uh, under normal circumstances you would have a problem but the core system has a real clever solution to this i can show you um, we have here a timer. I want um, to reset this timer just for a moment. And you know the timer menus, they should be common to you. Oops, and just a moment. So here is the motor time. And uh, here we see how we assigned that. So it's a start time, a stop time. We, we put eight hours in, doesn't matter. And we have a control for this. And, uh, just the starting is always the stick C, so it's, it's the throttle stick. And we have a stop situation, which is a motor switch, we call it. That is coming from a logical switch you will see shortly. And we have reset. That's a reset button just to reset the counter to zero again. Okay. Um, maybe a short uh, situation on that. Um, we have a, we have a, current value here and we would say okay let's have a start and you see up the counter is starting or, or let's do it in that way I put the stick down reset I give full thrust and my good buddy is throwing my glider into the air and uh, the motor is counting up okay if I have the stick control and would stop the motor now the counter stops if I go up again and want to have another climb it counts again and counts again okay if we would stay in this phase, remember stick is up, the last uh, high climb, I would change from start to landing phase. And then, please see, the counter would also stop. This is coming now from the uh, logical switch. And I show you how to set up this logical switch in order to make this timer properly running. Okay, let's leave this menu. Let's go to the... Uh, menu page and here we have the virtual switches and we defined a name motor switch you saw that already in the timer uh, page and we have a control c and we have a control switch f switch f is as you remember maybe this is my uh, my flight mode switch and we have here um, a logic 
combination, it's an OR function. Don't put it in an AND, it must be OR at this stage, okay? It is this OR, this affecting the output, okay? That's uh, technical engineering logic, but anyway, put it in that way and you will be fine. Okay, and here you see already what's going on. The motor switch, uh, which was triggering the stop function at the timer, is active. Active is triggering now the stop function. And this one is coming from the switch F. I could put that also on this one and it stays also stop because the stick would be down. Okay, if we have a motor run situation, let's say start phase and full power with a uh, throttle stick because the throttle is now in the game, we have off and the output state is off, which means we are not stopping the timer. The timer is now running. Okay, so that's the logic behind that. Um, if you don't feel comfortable, just put it in that way. And um, for the control, it's also too important to see the pictures here. Here I have the stick, the throttle stick, and um, you can uh, just copy that in that way. So the lower area is, uh, is a non-active area and the higher area, the right area, is the active area. So the same situation, the same picture for the, uh, for the switch of the flight modes. Here you can see. Just put it in that way and you will be fine. Okay, good. I think that's it. So we covered now um, we covered now the differential with Illyrions. We covered now the uh, flight mode, setting up the flight modes and the special with the timer function. So uh, the timer function must be modified if you use these advanced uh, flight modes. But that's all possible with the core. Great RC systems with uh, endless possibilities. It's just your imagination. So guys, uh, see you next time. Hear you next time at the next tutorial or maybe uh, at a tutorial for our telemetry products from CB Electronics. Have a good time and have fun with your core system.